at UW Sheboygan where tonight the Wombats take on Marinette Buccaneers um, alongside the coach Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin. Chris, uh, both teams got games in. Mar uh, Marinette's already played three games. They're 3-0. <laughs> uh, Wombats played uh, Baraboo the other night and uh, won that one handily. I think it was 89-68. to 68. Uh, And the Wombats got some new players. Familiar oh. names to us. Yeah, very nice to see a lot of kids from Sheboygan South, Sheboygan North. I uh, see a young man from Sheboygan Falls as well. So we got some uh, kids that we're used to. We got, uh, you know, Julian Jones, who played a starter on a state uh, number four team, I guess, or three, in, in depending on how you face it. They've got to the state tournament. You got Evan Plotz, who played on that state team as well. Uh, Nathan Circuitage, and with that, and blending in with TJ Pitch from Sheboygan South, who was an all-conference player last year, and they probably, Sheboygan also added their uh, South probably best player last year, A.J. Gutierrez. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we've come out here a lot of years, and uh, they, they've struggled to get some basketball players, but they've got basketball players this year. William Greenwood the third is the uh, coach. He's a teacher over at North High, so he's familiar with uh, a number of the kids, and I'm sure he put uh, a little pitch in for his program and uh, was fortunate enough to get some of the players you had mentioned. Pitch... Uh, He's been an outstanding player last year. He set a single season scoring record and a single game scoring record. He had 48 points one game, and uh, I know he put up a lot of points a couple of uh, games we covered. Well, you know, uh, we've had the pitches along the uh, while. They love to throw the ball up at the rim, and one thing they do do is they, they can find it as well. Uh, TJ had a very successful career at Sheboygan South and, again, leading it over to here. Um, I think this team is looking for bigger, better things this year. I know I saw here that the record last year was 6-17. and 17. Uh, Just looking at their size and their talent, this is a team that just might uh, win their league. Last year in conference, Marinette finished 9-3, uh, and three, second in the conference. They had an outstanding year. Uh, like I had mentioned, they're 3-0. and oh. So far this year, 1-0 and oh in conference. Uh, that one game that uh, Sheboygan played, and beat Baraboo, that was a non-conference game, so this will be the first conference game for them. Uh, Marinette doesn't have any names that we're real familiar with, but uh, certainly the cities are relatively familiar, Sevastopol and Green Bay East and O'Connell Falls. Tyler Hagmeister uh, was an honorable mention all-player last year, and this Everett Lane, number 13, was a first-team all-Bay conference. He's a freshman, he could be a uh, big guy in there. Yeah, and I know Green Bay East had a really nice basketball team last year as well. They didn't play in our league. They were they moved to the other league, but I know they had a good season. One thing is, for most of you, may or may not remember, is here at the center you play for two years, and then you can move on to something else. And uh, looking at the roster here, they're all first-year players for Marinette, so it's a, a brand new team. Young team for sure, and uh, that uh, be a little challenging there's William Greenwood the third. Well, and he said last year, I mean, we talked to him, and you had mentioned that he was going to try to recruit and get better players in here, and uh, he definitely hit the area here for those kids that weren't going to bigger schools. And, you know, with the financial aid and colleges the way they are, I know personally with my son uh, running his debt up the yin-yang. No, um, your debt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Coming to a two-year program and then transferring to a different school is not not a bad idea. It's, you know, you're saving money by not, you know, by living at home and, you know, probably eating well and things. So that helps out for sure. Oh, uh, Penny Maletsky standing right alongside of us, senior athletic director here at the uh, center. She's a longtime familiar face out here. And uh, we're going to stop for a minute and... Uh, be quiet for the national anthem.
stand for the plane of our national anthem. Another guy we should probably mention while we have a chance is uh, Corian Davis, 6'1", a freshman like Chris had mentioned. He's from DeForest and uh, he's averaging 12 points a game and six assists a game, Chris. He'll be an uh, interesting player to watch and uh, there he is uh, shaking hands with everybody. Pitch, of course, starting. Gutierrez starting. Evan Platts. Julian Jones. And Nate Sirkatic. So we've got two Southsiders and three Northsiders in the starting lineup for Sheboygan tonight. I don't know if you caught the uh, announcement. Our officials tonight are uh, Dan Hagnow, Tom Rush, and Don Bumgart. I had a chance to uh, talk with uh, Don Bumgart and uh, said, I haven't seen him in a while. He says, well, I've kind of graduated from uh, doing uh, not nearly as much high school basketball and focusing in on more of the college level. Don will be... Uh, Tossing it up at half court. Rules are a little different, of course, from uh, high school with the shot clock, 30 seconds. And uh, Jones almost had it, but uh, lost it. Davis uh, out on top. Sheboygan in a man-to-man -man defense. Sarkatic with the hands up, being tall. Preventing a shot inside. Good help defense by Sirkatic. Three point attempt is up and good by Newman. Guterres eyeing it up, gets it inside to Sirkatic. Spin move, kiss off the glass is no good. Davis got through the double team, tried to dish it off, and then we get a walk call on Marinette. Uh, 
Circatich has it on top. Gutierrez gets it inside to Circatich. He's looking for a clear out. Gets pitch cutting on top. Three point had a good look at it, but couldn't get it in. Platts over to Jones. Tries to drive, couldn't get it. And uh, gets tipped out of bounds. Jillian is kind of one of those players, Marty, that does all the little things, doesn't always get it in the box score, but uh, she's one of those uh, eight point per game guys. Gets about five or six rebounds. Plays good D. Gutierrez with a look from three point land, couldn't get it to go. Schmoigen doing a good job of getting back on defense, preventing any fast break by the uh, Buccaneers. Gutierrez doing a great job fighting through the double team to prevent a three-point attempt. Both teams playing really good defense, Marty, for the beginning of the season. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Both teams in a man-to-man -man and uh, doing a great job. Very difficult for teams to be open. Julian Jones had a wide open shot from about 18 feet and couldn't get it in. Davis gets away with a push. Circuitich, uh, good defense inside. I'll tell you that height uh, really pays dividends. Yep, 6'8". Former student of mine. He wasn't 6'8 when he was my student though, Marty. <laughs> you might have been taller than him back then. <laughs> uh, for a while. Circuitich from three point land can't get it in. So far, Sheboygan, I believe, is 0 for 4, and three of the four shots have been from uh, three-point land. And Davis <laughs> looked like he got hammered, uh, but uh, no call, and the ball goes off, out of bounds off of him. Oh, you're just about right. 0 for 5, Marty. You know, they had that uh, half hook by circuitage, but everything else has been three-pointers. Harris has it on top, gets it inside to Circuitich. His turnaround, fadeaway, is up and in. Well, I was glad that Nathan took that shot. He missed the first shot, and then he was kind of hesitant when he had it down below. But when you're deep in the post there, you're 6'8", shoot it. Platt's a little too uh, aggressive on the uh, cover-up, but uh, fortunately, Marinette missed the shot, and Sheboygan got the rebound. Both teams, cold, 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 Marty. Yeah. Gutierrez has it on top. Into Platts. Gutierrez open from three ball land. Again, couldn't get it to go. Three to two, Marinette on top. They made a three point shot, their first trip down. And uh, that was their only basket until right now. Melver with a two pointer. It's five to two, Marinette. Alex Antoni getting ready to check in for the Wombats. Yeah, he played for Falls a year ago. Big, big, big player. Shot clock down to eight. Pitch kick out to Gutierrez. Again, couldn't get it. Platts with the rebound. Reverse layup is no good. Pitch kisses it off the glass for two. His first two points of the night. Surprised he didn't take that three, Marty. He loves it out there. And we're going to get a foul on Circuitich. Probably a little tired, Marty. Yeah, I agree. You can tell. His cheeks are red. So he got that foul a little late due to the... Uh, probably a little tired. Our first foul of the game. We're at 15.32 uh, left in the first half. Been a slow start, neither team shooting very well. Good ball movement by the Buccaneers and it results in an air ball. Hagmeyer on the three ball attempt, drew nothing but floor. Dump down to Platts, his move inside is good. Evan Platts for a two-pointer. Well, Evan got three rebounds, and now he's got a basket. Good help defense by Platts. 
Again, a little too aggressive on the recovery and allowed his man to uh, score. That's Newman's second basket. He's got five altogether. Seven to five, Marinette. Seven to six, pardon me. Jones going down the middle, had his shot blocked. And we get a, uh, I think we're gonna get a foul on Jones. Offensive foul on Julian. I went on their uh, website, Chris. It's it's pretty slick, actually. It's got all the teams, and uh, you know you can access any of the teams in their conference. And uh, going through Jack Snyder Court is what they're playing on. Jack was a coach oh, yeah. here for uh, I believe it was 21 years. Great man. Great basketball coach. Yep, yeah, just a superhuman being. Davis taking it to the rack, and uh, he's going to get fouled. I think Evans is a little bit tired too. Platts picked up the foul. Davis's free throw rolls around and down. That was our first free throw of the ball game. Comes with 14.06 left. That makes it 9 to 6, Marinette. Terra's uh, looks pretty tired too, Chris. I don't know. Nice. Nice pass. Good shot by Antoni. Oh, yep, double dribble. I tell you, the only thing that's a little disturbing is Antoni was open way before he finally got the ball. You know, get him open down deep. Let's get him the ball right away. Well, they got Circuitich 6-9, Antoni 6-8. I think I'd want to keep those two fellows near the basket. What do you think? <laughs> We're not sure what's going on down on the court. I think he did not substitute in. Or. Uh, okay. Uh, Maybe. Reporting violation. I, but he was at the desk. I know he was at the desk. Davis makes the uh, technical free throw. The first of two. And that's what uh, Coach Greenwood was yelling about, about checking in. I don't know if he didn't check in. I can remember coaching a JV basketball team and grabbing a guy and said, go check in, and he ran right on on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was. I got a feeling that's exactly what it was, a substitution in, uh, violation. But I saw three people up here. I just... Pitch, good feed inside to circuit pitch, and no. he short-armed it. And Tony... Shoots and scores and is fouled. Nathan's Ball goes gotta, on lean. Nathan's got to put that pickle off the glass. Bryce Thompson, number 32, checks in for uh, the Buccaneers. And Antoni is going to shoot a free throw. And uh, couldn't get... Get it in. It's 11 to 10. Marinette. Good defense by pitch. And Davis, pardon me. Yes, Davis scores and is fouled. Well, that was an easy foul, too. When you put your hands you know, over the guy going down, it's an easy call for the official as opposed to putting your hands straight up in the air. Good 
Good rebound by DJ Dawson. Cirkatic likes the three ball but can't get it in. I don't know, think Coach likes the three ball from him as much. Oh, a nice scoop move by uh, Melver. He's got four points. It's 15 to 10. Pitch. Three ball is off the uh, support wire and it's a dead ball. Marinette will get it. 12.31 left in the first half. Gutierrez checking back in for uh, pitch. Yeah, Jones, Platts, Pitch on the bench. Three of the five starters. Hey. Davis to the rack and scores. A little run here by Marinette. He's got eight points, Chris. It's a seven point lead now for the Buccaneers. They had it down to one. Kick out three ball is up and good by Sadiq. Ali Sadiq from Elkhart Lake. Boy, they needed that. Yep. Lane's shot is no good. Feet inside is no good, but uh, Sirkatic is going to pick up his second foul. Number 13 is Everett Lay. I believe I called him Lane. It's Lay, L-A-Y-E. And Newman scores his sixth point. He's got a three, a two, and now a free throw. And the lead goes back to five for Marinette. Make it six. They're making their free throws too, Marty. Yeah, they've made uh, six of seven so far. Sheboygan is 0 for 1. Gutierrez, quick three ball, no good. He can't hit one. And uh, Platts with the good hustle falling down, took a swipe at the ball, hit it out of the hands of the Marinette player, and it went off of his leg. Sheboygan will get it back down 19 to 13. And Tony's shot is blocked. Gutierrez. Got it back though for Sheboygan. Sadiq couldn't wait to get it and he nails another three. He's got a quick six off the bench. Ball is tipped away by Sadiq. He's having a good run here, Chris. After uh, being in trouble, getting a couple technical there. Oh, a bad, bad pass by Gutierrez. And A.J. commits the foul, making the layup was Bryce Thompson. Oh, been there before, Chris, make a bad pass and then uh, compounded with a foul. A timeout, full timeout. Take a short break and be right back. drive from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Back at uh, UW Sheboygan there, you see the Marinette Buccaneers being talked to by their coach, uh, Brian Wickstrom. Uh, also helping out is Tom Conine and uh, Joe Sparks. Sheboygan's assistant coaches are uh, Lawrence Adams. And uh, they got down Butch Kane, but I don't see Butch. I talked with uh, William Greenwood, actually, and he had mentioned that Butch had moved on. He's coaching, uh, I'm not sure where, I think at the high school level again, maybe. But anyway, 
they got him listed, but he's not here. So Slow start for Sheboygan. They're just shooting 35%. Marty, 2 of 11 from 3. Marinette, on the other hand, 53% from the floor. 22 to 16 now. You know, 35% even seems high. Yep. In terms of their shooting percentage, Sheboygan's. Well, Marinette's getting a lot of shots at the at the free throw line as well. A nice feed inside for Antoni. He's got six points. He's three of four. He's he's the one guy that's putting the ball in the hole. I'll tell you, the guys off the bench have uh, kept Sheboygan in the game. Good high hands there. Davis. Uh, Causing a lot of problems for Sheboygan tonight. Good defense by Sadiq. And a shot clock violation. Hagmeyer was not able to get the ball up to the rim and the shot clock went off. Lucas Rockmount is in the ball game. He's a and big Ju boy. Yeah, Julian Jones and a pitch back in. Rockmont 6'5". Uh, Freshman. I don't think he's 6'5. But if you tell me he's 240, I'd believe that. Well, 6'5 next to 6'8 there. It's pretty close. Yeah, it could be. Taller than me. But not better looking. Well, maybe I'll take <laughs> that back. <laughs> Davis going hard to the basket. AJ is going to pick up the foul, and that'll be his second. Circuitich and Gutierrez each have two fouls. Well, Marinette is attacking the basket. That's the seventh team foul on Sheboygan, just one on Marinette. One and one for uh, Corey and Davis. He's been pretty steady on the line. Made uh, five of six so far. And 11, nine points so far. Looking for number 10. 9.56 left in the first half. There you get a good shot of Corey and Davis. They're making their throws, Marty. Certainly Difference are. in the game. For sure. Uh, ball's going to go know. on Rockmont. He dumped it inside to uh, Antoni. And he drew the foul. Dawson with a three. Uh, pardon me, Julian Jones with a three. Julian's first points of the night. He had 22 the other night. Nine of 11 shooting. Lay goes right around him for an easy two. Not good defense that time by Julian. 26-21. Marinette on top. Good hustle that time by DJ Dawson. Just nothing going in. And uh, couldn't get the basket. Tell you, he's had a slow start, Chris. Is TJ Pitch. He's got one basket. He's got two points. One for three. And uh, he's their high scorer. like to see him uh, light it up a little bit. He's on Davis. They just keep and going to the basket, Marty. Yeah, Davis going hard to the hoop time after time, and they don't have an answer for him. Julian Jones picked up the foul there. Didn't I say something in the first 10 minutes that uh, well, that they were playing good defense? Well, about the last four minutes, they haven't played very good defense. Well, I'll tell you, Corian Davis, number three, has uh, really gotten his uh, game in gear the last uh, seven, eight minutes. And he's pretty good on his free throws. 
29-21, rolling under eight minutes, under nine minutes. Pitch, hard to the hoop, lays it up and in. Nice driving layup that time by TJ, he has four points. Davis with a runner, couldn't get it. Or but wasn't uh, a pass. <laughs> yeah, Thompson with the layup. That was one of those that looked like it could have been a pass too because there's nobody on the weak side because defense had to step up to stop the drive. Left Thompson open. Sadiq lost it. Davis comes away with it. Good long pass to Lay. He lays it up and in. And a timeout by Sheboygan. With 8.15 left in the ball, left in the first half, it's 33 to 23. And we got a full timeout. Uh, we'll keep it here as long as we're this far into the timeout. Uh, our early schedule this year, Chris, sees uh, four college games. We're here tonight, obviously, covering UW Sheboygan. Then we have uh, two Lakeland varsity games. They host UW Lacrosse November 17th and they host MSOE on November 22nd. And then we're back out to uh, La uh, Lakeland. They cover uh, the Lakeland JV team against this uh, UW Sheboygan team. And uh, that's gonna be a little bit of a special night. Isn't that the Deso night? I'm not sure. I think that's the night that uh, Tom Desadell is gonna come and join us. Oh, really? Uh, at the table uh, because uh, Lakeland has several North players. And, of course, we talked about the uh, familiar faces on this uh, Sheboygan Wombat team. So, and then uh, from <laughs> December 5th on, after that December 5th uh, Lakeland JV against UW Sheboygan, it's high schools all the way moving through the uh, season. Uh, 16 dates, I believe, 18 games, or maybe it's 14 dates and 16 games, but uh, starting off on the college level early on. Plots back in the game, pitch, takes it down the lane and scores. Well, where this game's gonna have to change is on the defensive end, Marty, because Right now, Marinette is just taking it to him. You know, basically it's been one player uh, driving the whole offense, and that's been uh, Corian Davis. I gotta find an answer for him. Julian goes high for the uh, rebound. 7.30 left in the first half. Morgan looking for an opening. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Pitch wide open from three ball and nails it. That's just poor defense. They backed away from yeah. him instead of coming out to guard him. You got to think that that was disgust on the bus ride down. Julian okay. Jones with his two falls is guarding Corey and Davis. Inside to Rockmon. Looked like he may have gotten away with a uh, travel. Sadiq back in for Sheboygan, and uh, Brock Kieber is in for uh, the Buccaneers. Julian not happy that he came out, but I thought it was a good substitution. I you don't too. want him to pick up his third foul. Nope. Ball tapped out by Sheboygan. Davis being guarded by Dawson. And drives and scores, and I'll tell you, he got raped on the way to the basket and no right. call. Well, they were right up on him, but you, with his speed, you can't. You gotta stop him. He, He's not made any long shots. No. Pitch is getting warmed up. And Tony with a 10 footer, couldn't get it to go. Lay pushing the action. 
And uh, good defense by Antoni to uh, prevent the uh, pass to uh, Hagmeyer for the layup. There you see it, 6.08 remaining. It's uh, 35 to 28. Sheboygan's been down the entire way. They started off the ball game missing a whole bunch of shots. Chris early on had him at 35%. Good block that time by Antoni. Well, Marin had about 60% now, and they're not missing shots. They're going to the free throw line. Whoa, bonus. Yep. I thought that was a shooting foul. Yeah, really. Platts picks up his second foul. I've got. Gutierrez, Platts, Jones, and Sirkatich all with two fouls. And we have six minutes left and just two fouls on Marinette. The difference is Marinette's attacking the glass, attacking the basket. Sheboygan relying more on that outside shot. They've attempted 13 threes already, Marty. Made four of them. Really that many. Sixteen points by Corey and Davis so far, Chris. Ooh. Make it seventeen. And he's made nine out of ten free throws. Wow. I mean, if he doesn't make a basket, he's getting fouled in on the drive to the basket. Pitch with a deep three. Nailed it. Nothing too deep for him. He's got 12 points, and we get a line violation after the big basket, and Sheboygan's going to get it right back. They're down 37-31. What a break there. They were just down 10, 33-23. So they're making a little bit of a comeback. Pitches made his last four. Yeah, he was looking inside for Antoni, and then uh, Sadiq travels, trying to make a move to the basket. Just two turnovers on Sheboygan, and he's got them both. Five thirty-one left in the half. Thirty-seven thirty-one. Davis. Violation, I didn't catch what it was. It Carey. almost, okay. I thought it was some type of dribbling violation. Six turnover on Marinette. Pitch doing a lot of dribbling up on top. Not much movement by the rest of the boys. And then he Rifles up a three that goes out of bounds. That was not a good offensive set. Well, in the beginning, they tried to go inside out. Now they just seem to be relying on the oh. outside. <laughs> <laughs> Marinette looking to build on their uh, six-point lead. Sergi Molitor and Richard Bartson on camera. Scott Mailoff, our director. Leia's shot is no good. Got his own rebound and puts it up and in. For Everett Lay, that's his six points. Yeah, three of eight from the floor. And uh, Chris Wright and I'm Mike Martin bringing you the ball game. Julian Jones goes hard to the basket and scores. Still a six point lead, Buccaneers on top. Hagmeyer kicks out to Davis. His lone outside shot of the half, he missed it, but Buccaneers come away with it. Lay inside the line, hits a two. He's made his last two now. Yep, he's got eight points. Having a quiet half, but uh, he's been effective. Julian. Fouled on the drive. I believe it's going to be uh, Tyler Hagmeyer picking up the foul. 
And uh, that's only their third foul of the half, Chris. Sheboygan has nine. Well, Jones did something twice now in a row that uh, the rest of the team hasn't done, and that's getting to the basket. Got to make the free throws, though. Yeah. Sheboygan is 0 for 2 on their uh, free throw attempts. You know how they did the other night, Marty. Jones was 3 of 4 the other night. He's 1 for 2 tonight so far. 7 point lead for Marinette. They're 72% from the floor the other night. Good hands by uh, Julian Jones. Jones cannot pick up foul number three here, Marty. And he's got the tough task of guarding Davis. Davis. Coach had talked to him earlier about, there is a travel not called, but Davis gets the roll uh, about not fouling. Julian with a three ball. Now we're in double. Well, Fall's gonna go on Dawson. And uh, Lay is gonna be at the line. Shooting two. They're in double bonus now. You know, even the guys without the last name Davis make their free throws. They're getting there a lot, Marty. There's a good look at Everett. Wow. We're at 339 and they've given up almost 50 points, Marty. Yeah, 45 to 34. Sadiq kisses it off the glass, no good. And, uh, on pitch, no. No, no. You see have. that from here, at the know, same angle I, as Don Bumgard, and he called it right, I, I think. Yeah, but I thought Pitch got the sh uh, shot in first. Well, we didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> here, you're going to take a look at it. Now watch Pitch. Boom! Yeah, uh, who came in there first? I'd give it to Lee every time. <laughs> and I'm serious, I, I thought he w went up there, but uh, he didn't. Right. Lee still initiated the, the contact. contact. Yeah. Right. Julian with a spin shot. He makes it and he's fouled. <laughs> Julian. With eight points now looking for number nine. He had a one for two trip at the line a couple of minutes ago. Put that one in. That Don Smith for the old Milwaukee Bucks shot those line drivers. <laughs> that's what that looked like. Greg Julian. Smith. Greg Smith, that's yeah. it. Number four. Oh, he walked. He didn't like the call. Got him that time, though. Good. Pitch has it. There's uh, rolling down to the three minute mark. Sheboygan is down by eight points. Marinette has played a good first half. Jones to Dawson. Pump fake. He goes to the lane. Throws it up off the glass. Couldn't get it in. Comes away with a rebound. Has it tipped away by Davis. And Sheboygan has it back. And now they're going to get Davis with a foul. Wow. Seem like a late call, Chris. Uh, uh, I think I got it. He fell over the top of the Sheboygan player. Not him. Which was incidental contact, kind of, sort of. We could have played on. But if it's on them, that's a good thing. Davis picked up his first foul of the game. Rainbow three is no good. Antoni not able to uh, grab the rebound. Sadiq missed the three ball. He made his first two, but he's missed his last two. Well, he's going to say he's been pretty good. Yeah. 
Sadiq going down the lane, lays it up and in. Ali Sadiq, Elkhart Lake native, Chris mentioned that. Fadeaway jumper rolls off, Jones kept it alive and Antoni Didn't get the timeout, or did he? No, did not get the timeout in time. Ball goes out of bounds. You know, you talk about doing the little things, Chris. I thought on that uh, you know, last rebound attempt that uh, Jones was instrumental keeping the ball alive. Yep. Oh. Kitch and Dawson just not on the same page. It cost a turnover by Sheboygan. One, under two minutes, 158 counting. 45-39, Sheboygan trying to battle back. All right, Sheboygan now with five turnovers. That's not too bad, actually. Nope. Hagmeyer's spin move is no good. Sadiq had the ball knocked away. Eggmeyer again, a fadeaway, no good. Dawson fell down, couldn't get it, and then as he gets up, the ball rolled right to him. Jones with a three, no good. Uh, Sheboygan needs to set it up. Yeah, There's 25 seconds left on the shot clock. We're rolling down to a minute. Very kind. And uh, oh. another timeout. William Greenwood wants him to talk it over. There's 20 seconds left on the shot clock, 106 left in the half. Third it's 45-39. Third time out of the half. So 30 second timeout. Wow. A lot of, <laughs> a lot a lot of action. Of, well, one reason there's not a lot of turnovers because neither team's not afraid to shoot, Marty. That's right. I picked one of the Marinette guys before the game missed a shot and it bounced over the chairs into the bleachers. So I got it out, and I said to the kid I was giving it to, I said, I'm going to do something I don't like doing, passing the <laughs> ball. And actually, you know what he said back to me? We don't like passing it either. <laughs> Our next ball game will be November 17th when uh, UW Lacrosse, my alma mater, comes to uh, Sheboygan County to play Lakeland University at the Moose Wilson Gym. Uh, this is actually a critical three, two, uh, one minute, Chris, because uh, we mentioned all the kids with two fouls on Sheboygan. You know, if they can get through the half with only two, yep, that'll be a major accomplishment. Looks like they going into a zone. A little change of defense and, and a turnover. Davis tips it away, and uh, Sadiq commits the foul on the shot attempt. Well, that was a good call by Marinette to switch up your defense there. The way he's been shooting free throws, though. Yeah, this is like an automatic two points. See what Martin Marinette calls this time on defense. Davis with a one for two trip, 46-39, 45 seconds left in the first half. Sheboygan will not be able to, uh, oh. oh boy, I don't know why they're passing to get into a double team. 30 seconds, 13 on the shot. Pass to Dawson is no good. Shot clock is off. There's uh, 22 seconds left. Coach is telling them play for one. I think there was just over three minutes left, Chris, when you had mentioned it was 45 to 36 maybe or so, and that Sheboygan was uh, possibly going to give up 50 points. They call an offensive foul on Davis. But uh, 
from that point, almost three minutes, you know, they've only scored one. Yeah, one I was, point, I was so. just thinking about that on the last trip down, Marty. And there, you're gonna oof, call the charge there. Three, two. Pitch on a fadeaway is gonna be no good. And we're at halftime here at Sheboygan with uh, Marinette with a seven point lead, 46 to 39. You know what guys, there's a lot of tree branches and dry brush over here. We should probably move the bonfire over there. I'm guessing Smokey liked that idea. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. That's one in five daughters, sons, neighbors, and classmates who don't know where their next meal is coming from. Yet billions of pounds of good food go to waste every year. It's time we do something about it. Feeding America is a nationwide network of food banks that helps provide meals to millions of kids and families in need. Visit feedingamerica.org to help them feed even more. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. Okay, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're going swimming. We're going biking. Yeah! I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. Okay, honey, I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in, because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. This is the moment I knew. His future had no boundaries. There are some moments only the forest can inspire. Find yours at discovertheforest.org. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Marie, you have prediabetes. Prediabetes? I don't have time to eat, write, or exercise. I'm a busy mom. Oh, you're a busy mom. This is great news. Busy moms never get prediabetes. Wait, what? Let me just... Yeah, this is all the people at risk for prediabetes, and way over here, busy moms. No? Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest! You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. I'm Jenny Garth, and as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. This is unacceptable and something Feeding America is working to solve. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States, including yours. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Back at UW Sheboygan, getting ready to start second half action. There you see the score at halftime, Marinette 46, uh, Sheboygan 39. Chris, what do you got for us? Well, I got uh, 
Marinette shooting 50% from the floor, just one of three. What a change compared to Sheboygan where they have shot 19 threes but only hit five or 26%. 39% shooting for Sheboygan and I, we kind of mentioned probably that you know it might be Sheboygan's game but the three point shot wasn't helping them there much in that first half. And you mentioned too that uh, the difference in the sh shots that Sheboygan took was made up by Marinette's free throw shooting. They made 15 out of 17. Sheboygan only uh, two out of four. High score in the half was Corian Davis with 20 points. Uh, for Sheboygan, TJ Pitch had 12. It's a high score for Sheboygan. And uh, as you can see there, Sheboygan gets the possession coming out of the second half, or the second half. Pitch being guarded by Hagmeyer. It's a pretty good matchup for Marinette. Hagmeyer being uh, taller than uh, TJ. And both well, Marinette in a man-to-man -man defense. Jones pushes it to the basket and scores. He's now four of nine from the floor. And that brings uh, Sheboygan to within five points. That's the closest they've been in quite a while. Well, they didn't really play well that first half, so to be down what they were at half was not that bad. Lane kisses it off the glass. A Hail Mary shot, and it went in. That's looking for the back cutter on that pass to the high post, but nobody got open. Jones, no good. Platts with the offensive rebound. Sheboygan keeps the possession. Yeah, he's got four rebounds, two on the offensive glass, Evan. Oh, bad pass. Evan Platts with a block there, make up for the uh, turnover on the bad pass. AJ didn't get a basket in that first half. Oh, oh. Platts went down and popped back out, no break. Sirkatich with a block. Kind of like the start of the game, Marty. Back and forth with not a lot of results. Right. But they sure picked it up this, the last three quarters of the half. Julian going hard to the basket and scores again. He's got 13 points. Eggmeyer's shot is no good. Platts with the rebound. Sheboygan looking to draw a little closer. They haven't been shooting well so far, We're only a couple minutes in, but uh, they haven't been shooting the three ball quite as much. They've been looking to go inside more. Shot off the glass is no good. Evan Platts, the shot is good, but it's no good. The foul happened before the shot attempt. Sheboygan will get it out of bounds underneath the basket. Well, Evans is one of two from the floor shooting, but he has six rebounds and three now on the offensive glass. Newman uh, picking up his second foul. Evan had eight rebounds the other night. Gutierrez with a three ball, no good. He hasn't uh, had any luck on his three shot attempts. Lee. Nice dribble, got it by AJ, and then he gives it up to uh, Mulver. Melver, who scores. 50 to 43. Just rolled under 17 minutes left in the ball game. Pitch uh, gets fouled by Hagmeyer. He'll be shooting two. Nice crowd here tonight, Marty. Another yeah. thing. We've been here some nights where there's been about four people in the stands, and uh, yeah, good to see some people out here. Yeah, both sides actually. Pretty nice crowd over on uh, Marinette's side, too.
Pitch with a couple of free throws there. I see his dad, Tom Pitch, up in the stands. He's been a loyal supporter of his uh, son's athletic endeavors. Oh, yeah. Good hustle that time by uh, Julian Jones. Not able to come up with the steal. Davis trying to take it to the rack, but his path was stopped. Melver's shot is no good, but he gets the rebound. And a short jumper by Newman is good. Second opportunity for the yeah. Baronet. Just awesome. thinking the same thing, Chris. And Davis with a steal. And Pitch with a foul. Well, they haven't had a lot of turnovers, but they're untimely turnovers. I guess they're never a good time for a yeah, turnover. Yeah, exactly. They're going to stay here. shooting here, huh? Oh, how can that be? Is that NBA continuation? <laughs> what? Great. We missed one. He was 10 for 12 in the first half, 0 for 1 now in the second half. Got that one to crawl in. Timeout, Marinette, Hardy. 16.09 left in the ball game. 30-second timeout. There you see uh, Coach Brian Wickstrom talking to the troops. Hard to believe it's basketball season already, Marty. I know the Badgers are getting underway soon as well, but uh, now that baseball season's over, I guess it's time. Yeah, exactly. High school season. Football's still two weeks left, right? Before they Three. Play. Three weeks. Oh, they got the final four. Oh, you're right. Two weeks. Final four yeah. and then the, the championships. You're nice right. win by uh, Cedar Grove, Belgium to yep. defeat Columbus in that uh, two versus one, us and being Hilbert, the twos. Hilbert's still alive, too. Yeah. Green Bay, Notre Dame. Bayport. Notre Dame, I noticed that, right? Yeah, Bayport got beat. You can check that stuff in Arizona. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> Pitch trying to go down the lane. <laughs> he got it up and in. DJ 6 of 11 now from the floor. And that one was. Arrow. Davis had a shot but couldn't get it in. Circuitich with the board gives it off to uh, Gutierrez. He likes that three ball, Chris. Jones on a follow up tap. So what's the over or under for uh, Gutierrez making a three tonight? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it's 0 for 6 from out there, 0 for 7 in the game. Hagmeyer. Wow. Deadly. His first points of the ball game. Just as the momentum was coming back, yeah, he was 0 for his first 6. And uh, Marinette has not thrown a lot of threes up there. They're just 2 of 4 now. Pitch, eyeing it up, nothing but the bottom of the net. Nineteen points for TJ. Fourteen forty left in the ball game. Sheboygan down four. Newman had it, gave it up to Hagmeyer. He's trying to take it down the lane. Newman with a three ball, no good. Jones coming in hard for the rebound. Got Antoni in the middle with the ball, dishes it off to Gutierrez, and again he misses a three. You know, I hate to put it this way, but I'd stop passing on the ball. Wow. <laughs> Play Not defense. Getting to your head a little bit and yeah, you gotta know you gotta know 
Let the game come to you for one thing, you know, and if you're not making them, don't shoot them. It's not like when I miss them, you know, and I keep shooting, it's, it's different. <laughs> I can keep shooting. <laughs> Eggmeyer, line drive shot is nothing but air. Sheboygan with it, and they're only down four with uh, 13.50 left. Tough shot. Yeah, Julian kisses it off the glass. I don't think he meant to do that, but uh, he'll take it. He has eight points in the second half. And Pitch had it tipped out of his hands, but they're saying that he lost it out of bounds. Marinette will uh, get it back. There you go, right? Yeah, well, well. Good replay, Scott. Haven't had a lot of replays. Been a pretty lot of action in the ball game. Yep. Not good defense that time by Sheboygan as Melver puts it up and in. Only down four. Pitch. Off balance shot and he put it in. He's made his last three. He has nine points in the second half, 21 in the ball game. Davis, too easy. Only his second and third point of the second half, Chris. He's got 23 in the night. 12.40 left. Pitch. Had it tipped away. Hey, Chris. In the program, they got TJ listed at 5'10". He doesn't look 5'10 to me out there. I I'm 5'9 and a half. And I think he's shorter than I am. Okay, so I was right for once. <laughs> 12.30 left. Sheboygan down by four, 60 to 56. Platts with a dump down into Antoni. But didn't have an opening. Pitch. Couldn't get it. Dawson up and in. Nice play. They're within the deuce. It's been a long, long uphill battle. Can't stop him. Uh, they got to have better help defense. Uh, kind of like the parting of the Red Sea. There you see some of the fans here tonight. Foul goes on Platts, his third. It's not his fault, though. They got to stop him on top, and then you got to fill in the middle. Right, with the back line defenders to help out. But he's quick to the basket, Marty. Very. Yep. Let's see what they got about him. Honorable mention, Badger North Conference, 19 points per game. Currently averaging 12 points a game. That'll go up after He was tonight. honorable mention at 19 points a game. Yeah, really. <laughs> Davis missed the free throw, got the rebound, put it up and in. Nobody blocked him out. Everybody stood there and watched him. That's not good. Not good fundamentals on your uh, free throws. Nobody stepped in to block him out. Circuit, uh, Antoni got the... Uh, Inside feed from Platts, and he gets fouled. Falls on Thompson. Uh, they used to have the high low, now I don't know exactly what they're trying to get here, there's too much standing around. And Tony's fadeaway is no good. He gets a rebound off the glass and in. Alex and Tony with his first basket of the second half off an offensive rebound. Jones seems to be able to stay with Davis a little bit more than everybody else, but now Platts is gonna get number four. That's a foul up on top, yeah. That's uh, Nate Circuitich is going to come in for him. He 
11-10 left in the ball game at 63 to 60. Marinette on top, they've led it the entire way. Sheboygan got down as much as 11 points actually in the first half and battled back. And uh, they continue to battle back here in the second half. Just a matter of getting over the hump. And Tony with the good defense. Sirkatich saved it. There's a scrum on the floor. Davis fouled on the way to the hoop. He's going to be shooting the pair. Falls on Alex Antoni. That's his second. Davis at the line shooting free throws again. Imagine that. This is going to be his 18th attempt from the line, Chris. See if somebody blocks him out. He did that time. 65 to 60. Can't get over the hump, Marty. It's been tough. Marinette back in their zone. Yeah, you're right. Playing a 3-2. 1-2-2. Two, two. Julian got bumped on the way to the basket. Call the foul. I believe that's going to go on uh, Newman, Matt Newman, number 24. Maybe not. Yep, Newman. That's his third, Chris. Hagnall coming in. It's 65 to 60. Marinette with 10.22 left in the ball game. And Tony drew the foul. Well, the one difference this half is getting a few fouls on Marinette. It's a matter of making the free throw. So far in the half, Sheboygan is two for two from the line. Thanks, Marty. <laughs> Marinette's four for six. <laughs> Way to pick me up, Chris. <laughs> hey, it's first game of the year. Kick them when they're down. There you go. And Tony puts in the second one, 65-61. They've had it to four several times. There you go. Good help, D. Travel. Shot is no good. AJ with the rebound. Up the pitch. Pitch, got it! Slipped through the defenders and put it up and made it. He's got 23. A 9 of 15 shooting. Lay had it tipped away by Pitch and couldn't quite make the save. Good hustle, though. Just two years ago, Pitch and Gutierrez were playing against Julian Jones, Platts. Now they're all on the same team. Kind of nice to see. Oh boy, two guys on the block and they call a foul underneath. And William Jones better get back by the bench or he's gonna get a technical foul. And Tony picks up his third. And uh, that was a tough break for Sheboygan. Two guys on the block. And, uh, and Tony picks up the foul. Well, you shouldn't have let him get the rebound on the offensive end. Yeah. I'll tell you, Davis has not been as stellar at the line as he in the second half as he was in the first. He's made four out of seven only this half. Oh boy, four out of eight. Circuit to his fourth rebound. Yeah, and we're only down two. Actually could take a lead with the three-pointer. Pitch on a nice. shot, no good. Drew air, but uh, Antoni right there to pick up the loose change and put it in. We're tied with 9.25 left. Lay with a layup. It's a nice play. Yeah, it was. 
Nice reverse layup. Still nine minutes left, long way to go. Gutierrez has it on the wing. They're still playing the zone. Sirkatic with a flat-footed three-pointer. It's only a two. Sirkatic nails a two, Chris. Wasn't quite far enough. Under nine. Davis looking to go to the basket. Ball was tipped away. 12 seconds left in the shot clock. Oh, boy. And uh, Sirkatic is going to pick up his third foul. If you can't guard out there, don't be out there. Bryce Thompson picked up the foul. It's only, ah, he's going to be at the line shooting the uh, one and one, Chris. That was foul number seven. We're all tied up. They take out both big men, Marty. Yeah, they're going small. Interesting. We've got Sadiq in there. We'll see how he does huh. uh, against this zone. He may be able to get some openings. We got all three big fellows out on the bench now. And I thought part of them being tall in the middle is taking away the drive. So we'll hopefully the quicker lineup will do better. Trail by two again. Yep. Thompson making a pair. You got Sadiq in the middle, Chris, playing a post. There he pops out. He's open for a quick three ball, but can't get it in, and it goes out of bounds. Antoni and Platts are going right back in. I'm going to hold off on bringing them in. I think Maybe. Evan, yeah, because he's got four fouls, but they're going to bring him in anyways with eight minutes left. Well, I was thinking uh, you can bring him back maybe once you get the ball back on offense. Short jumper is up and in by Melver, and uh, all of a sudden it's a four-point game with uh, eight minutes left. And a timeout by Sheboygan. Thirty-second timeout. And there you see Butch Kane's in the house. He's in the looks blue to you guys, but it's uh, actually a purple shirt. He's got the light tan pants on, so he is on the coaching staff this year. He's got a lot of dignitaries in the house. There's uh, Mr. Wright, <laughs> Penny Maletsky. Let's see, who's the guy you're talking to? He's a member of the old timers, right? Yeah, that's. That's Sacco, that's uh, Circuit to his dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or grandpa. Grandpa, so. grandpa, yeah. right. Neat. Neat's grandpa. Yeah, you're right. There is a really good crowd here tonight. Julian Jones talking to uh, Tom Rush, one of the officials. Sheboygan just 42% again here in the second half shooting. Okay, it's better than 35. <laughs> yep. It's a four-point lead for Marinette. Sheboygan uh, had it tied a couple of times. TJ's uh, gotten hot here in the second half. He actually had 12 in the first half. He's got... Uh, 13 here in the second. Wide open from three ball land, bounces off, no good. Jones with the strong rebound, put it up, no good. Comes away with it again and lays it up and in. Tenacious Julian Jones. Oh, that goes on. Evan Platts, number 21, it's going to be his fifth. Julian Jones. Calling it on Julian, that's going to be his third. And guess where the Buccaneers are again. Back on the line, Davis had a 0 for 2 trip last time. They're shooting about 
for the game, they're shooting about 10% better than Sheboygan, but it's only a two-point game. Two-point game, and he missed the first of a... And Davis picks up the foul. Right out in front of the official. Yeah, you don't want to be reaching around and slapping at the ball. That's an easy call. Third foul, Davis. Yep. 7-13 left in the ball game. Sheboygan down two, chance to uh, tie or take the lead. Pitch, kick out to Jones, three ball, bango! Julian Jones gives Sheboygan their first lead of the ball game with uh, 6.56 left, 72-71. And going hard to the hoop was Bryce Thompson. He drew the foul on Antoni. That's his fourth. Shown 66% shooting here in the second half. Thompson ties up the ball game. Platts coming out, Circuitic coming in. Nate had two points in the first half. He's got two in the second half, but uh, he's been that big body inside, Chris, that uh, makes a difference. The entire roster of the Wombats is in foul trouble, Marty. <laughs> and there's still seven minutes left. They can't stop drive penetration. And uh, they've had trouble with that, that's right. They're either giving up baskets or they're falling. Marinette back up on top. They get it inside to Circuitic. Good strong hands with the ball, keep it from getting tipped away. We have uh -huh. to count on AJ yet. AJ, don't be afraid to shoot. TJ's shot is off, no good. Kind of turned an ankle, they're going to call a Ball on pitch. Oh, oh boy. See this? Uh, uh, fouls are mounting. Double bonus. Yeah, double bonus. It's only the second foul for uh, pitch, so he's in good shape in that regard. Newman going to the line. It's his, uh, he was at the line one time in the first half, had a uh, two for two trip. Well, it says 10 fouls on the scoreboard for Sheboygan, but they're giving them a one and one. There's no number 11 that's on the floor that picked up the foul, I don't believe. What the heck was that? Yeah, really. What happened there? AJ trying to go to the baseline. Fadeaway is no good. Not gonna how you're gonna get out of your slump by not looking at the basket when you shoot. Thompson, uh, another uh, one of the Marinette Buccaneers that likes to go hard to the basket. Doing all their work at the free throw line. Yep, Gutierrez with his third foul. And they're only down by one. <laughs> That's yeah, really, it's amazing. They shot 17 free throws in the first half to Sheboygan's four, and uh, I'll tell you, they've got a huge advantage here in the second half also. It's even greater. Sheboygan has shot four free throws so far. They've shot two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19 with that miss. No, 17 with that miss. This is gonna be free throw number 18. Seventy four seventy two. Rolling under six minutes now left in the ball game. It's been a very entertaining ball game. Corey and Davis carried the Buccaneers in the first half. Uh, it's been more of a team effort here in the second. Oh, Hand off to Antoni coming down the lane, but he short armed it. Too it's bad. He made his last couple. Davis 
scores on a layup attempt, and it looked like uh, the ball was slipping out of his hands, but he was able to get enough spin to kiss it off the glass and roll it in. They're up by four. Well, on a 5-0 run, Marty. Sirkatich feeling it. Nails a three. <laughs> that one was from three ball land. And that was a bonus. Well, Davis giving up the ball is a good thing for Sheboygan. Thompson with the advantage here on the drive. Dishes it off to Hagnow for an easy two. Good play by Bryce Thompson. Three point lead now for the Buccaneers. Sadiq has it on top looking. Way outside the line, couldn't get it. And Tony with the rebound, but there's a foul underneath. I think they're going to call it on Marinette. Ball is going to go on uh, Melver. Boygan looks winded, Marty. Yeah, really. Especially their big guys here. Boygan's used four timeouts already. And Tony at the line shooting the one and one. One and one. Alex has got to make the first to get the second. Well, he didn't short arm that one, Chris. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Well, there's been a lot of action, but you know who's really kind of calm and cool is TJ Pitch. Kind of just taking this all in here. Taking charge, second year player here. Been there before, right? Yep. A lot of basketball left with four minutes and 20 Good help seconds. defense that time on Davis, but then Sirkatic not able to stop the driving Melver for an easy two. Three-point lead for the Buccaneers. Rolling down to four minutes. And Tony with a nice speed I'd keep puts going, it up and in. I'd keep going inside. Four minutes left. He's wide open again. And he scores. The help, uh, you had mentioned this earlier in the uh, ball game, Chris. The help has to come earlier than when he's in the middle of the lane two feet from yep. the basket. Well, you just got to back off, too. Don't let him drive penetrate, so give him an extra step or two, and they haven't changed that action all day for him. Sometimes the guy's better than you, so back off. Make them shoot a three. I mean, this team doesn't shoot threes. You don't have to be up in their drill. They've shot uh, five threes tonight, Marty. <laughs> Made two. That's not too bad. Two out of five. <laughs> well, seriously, two out of five isn't too bad. 40%, no, uh, but, but only shooting five uh, is probably even better. Especially in... <laughs> in the uh, playing in 2016, 2017 season when everybody's shooting threes. 18 second half free throws so far, Chris. And the reason it's still close is they've only made nine compared to uh, 15 out of 17 in the first half. A lot of basketball left. Yeah. 35 free throws. That's where I go. I go deep. Sadiq feeling it. Can't get it. Sirkatich couldn't get it. Lay with the rebound, and he loses it. Jones, hard to the hoop. Up and in. Don't foul. Got a lot of time, Julian. Don't foul. Shot is no good. Antoni with the board. Sheboygan down one with the ball. 3.20 left. Pitch kicks it out to Sadiq. Oh, he couldn't get it. He had a wide open shot. And Hagnow and Davis fighting over the rebound lost it out of bounds. Well, Sadiq's missed all four threes here in the second half. He's missed six of his last seven shots. He too should think of somebody else to uh, throw the ball to. Jones has 15 second half points. Chris, 24 for the night. Circuitage needs a quick blow. Get uh, Evan back in there with four fouls, but uh, Nathan's a little tired. 
right feet to inside the fresh body. to Platts. His shot is no good, but he's fouled from behind. And right to the fresh, fresh body there. Evan with his four fouls, spent a lot of time on the bench. See if Evan can uh, get a couple of free throws to go. Foul was on Newman. That's his fourth. There you get a good shot on Nate. Uh, pardon me, Evan. <laughs> Nothing but the bottom of the net. Evan, a 6'6 freshman. Played at North last year. We mentioned that. Put on some little girth, Marty. Yeah, he's definitely not, last as, couple of years. not as thin as he was when uh, he played for the Raiders. Yeah, it's just his body growing into him. Manhood there. Gives him the lead. Boygan on top, 83-82, 3.05 left in the ball game. Bryce Thompson, look away pass. Davis down deep, shot is good. Once again, too far extended, let him catch it out there, let him shoot the shot there. 34 points on the night, Chris. Oof. And he's not done. No, he's definitely not done. Pitch. Kick out to Jones. His flat-footed three-pointer is no good. Dawson on the board. That's two. Jones. No. Buccaneers come away with it. That's two big offensive re rebounds for Dawson here. That time they couldn't convert. Good help defense by Dawson. Lays three ball, rolls in. Oh my. Oh, that one hurts, Chris. We're down four with two minutes left. Oh, you said it, you know, force them to shoot the three. They don't yeah. shoot them. It's all right, they're only down four. You don't need a three pointer here. Get inside here. Pitch is gonna shoot though. Bingo. He's got it. Good call by my partner, Chris Wright. 87-86, Marinette on top, 135 left. Feed to Hag now, gives it off to uh, Melver. Thompson looking to go deep, couldn't get it. Davis's shot from uh, 15 is no good. It's a shot he hasn't taken very often tonight. Oh no. And Tony. No, that was not a good shot, but Sheboygan gets a break and comes away with it. Pitch off the glass, he's got it. Oh man, he's got 16 second half points. 28 in the ball game. Bryce Thompson's shot is no good, but he's fouled. He'll be at the line shooting a pair. I want to clarify something before, Marty. When they're down by four, saying they don't need a three, they don't need a fourth three, but when TJ's shooting it, that's... Right, that's, that's a, a different story. You're right. That's a that's a different guy shooting it than, uh, you know, he's your best <laughs> three-point shooter guy. Than that number 20? <laughs> <laughs> well, AJ can hit him, too. We've seen him hit it over the years, just not tonight. I saw him hit a couple before the game. All right, Thompson, uh, Chris, is uh, five for five on the night. His four points in the second half have all come from the line. He's uh, been heavy into driving to the basket. Well, it's, this is when it gets a little difficult, though, Marty. It's uh, a yeah. one-point game, 50 seconds left. It's a lot easier than with 10 minutes left. And there's 50.8 seconds left in the ball game. And he clutches up. Yeah, I did my best, fans. Telling you that he was uh, six for six on the night now. Sheboygan, don't call a timeout here. No, you don't want to call one yet. There's a lot of game left. You've used four already. I think you get six in college, Marty. Six, okay. Richard uh, Bartson and I were talking about that. I thought it was five, but uh, Chris says it's six, so we'll trust him. I think, I'm not sure. Well, I like going inside, Marty. I know that's... Asking him if he wants a full or a 30-second timeout. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, Scott, so we'll keep it here. Oh. Uh, Scott Mailoff is our director tonight. Richard Bartson running this top camera. Sergi Molitor's down on the floor. 
Chris Wright giving you the color commentary, and I'm Mike Martin giving you the play-by-play. -play. It's been an excellent ball game tonight. Chris. Yes, very exciting. I think I'd go down low, but uh, regardless, a big advantage for Sheboygan is they got their big guys out there that can crash the boards. There's 50.8 seconds left. Oh, this, you know, this is something Marinette does too. I like this. They change up their defenses every once in a while, especially after Sheboygan calls timeout, which, you know, again, just changes things up a little bit. See where they're going to go here. They got the two postmen on one side, going back to the regular offense. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, Antonio was eyeing it up. He wanted to shoot it, but didn't. Eight, seven, six, four shot. Good! Pitch! Sheboygan with the lead, 90 to 89. 22 seconds left. Shot clock is off. Timeout, Marinette. Now, there's no doubt in my mind who's shooting this one. <laughs> We are going to take a short break, Scott. It's a full timeout. Why don't you give us one uh, commercial and then bring us back. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, you learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Back at uh, UW Sheboygan, the Jack Snyder floor, where uh, Sheboygan leads it now, 90 to 89. They've battled back from an 11 point first half deficit to uh, grab this one point lead. Chris, who do you think's taking that last shot? I'm betting on numbers. I'm betting on a three, three or 23. Davis is nine of se uh, 10 of 17 shooting tonight. And uh, Melver? Melver is, what do I got him here for? Six of nine shooting, so somebody with a three. Now the other guy that's uh, been uh, pretty instrumental here in the second half, even though he doesn't have any baskets, has been uh, Bryce Thompson. He actually has a, two baskets in the first half. He's got all free throws here in the second. Yep. Gonna have to get a stop. Don't worry, Circuitid should be in the lane. Don't worry about Thompson out there. Get in the lane, big boys. Nobody's in the lane. Davis, no good. Circuitid with the rebound. Sheboygan has it. And AJ Gutierrez is fouled with 6.6 .6 seconds left by Max Melver. I'll tell you, that was a wide open look for Davis, and he missed it. It's been a shot he's made all night. You're yep. right. And uh, he got what he wanted there. Now this is a one and one Chris. It should be. They've only got nine fouls on the board for Marinette. Coach Greenwood pulling his players off the free throw line putting them back on defense. There's still 6.6 .6 seconds left. Now the official signal one and one. So AJ has got to get this one in to get the next one. And that's his first point of the night, Chris. He couldn't have picked a better time. And it wasn't a three. White timeout. Full timeout. Scott, let's take another break. Chris and I are trying to catch our breath. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice, single boy. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers, but you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. When I was six, my days were... Back at Sheboygan, Sarah, you see Butch Kane uh, putting his two cents worth in. 
Sheboygan's got a two point lead with 6.6 .6 seconds left. Chris, uh, you definitely want to make this one, I would think. Force him to throw up a three ball. Well, yeah, and I was just looking at who shot the threes here. Newman's shot two threes. Uh, and Hegemeyer's put up two threes. Uh, what I, I want to make sure is if they miss here is they just clog that middle there, make them force something out there because Davis can get down that bat basketball hoop, excuse me, the basketball court in six seconds. No problem. No problem. I would just be in the in the lane if I was the, the Wombats, but hopefully Air, AJ can clutch up and make this Here's free throw. Good shot of AJ right there. Put it in, AJ. Come on, buddy. He's got it. Sheboygan coming up on defense. Who wants it? You need a three. You need a three. They're going to get one. Short. Lee shot. No good. Sheboygan wins it 92 89 on a comeback victory. What an effort, Chris. Well, it wasn't easy, Marty. <laughs> Definitely wasn't easy. And uh, a great win. What a game. Very exciting game for our first game, and uh, they got some talent here, Marty. They definitely have some talent, and they worked together well, I thought. I thought uh, they played together well. They didn't always, the shot selection wasn't always the greatest, but uh, they were playing together, and uh, hey, they pulled it out at the end when it counts. I just want to talk a little bit. I'm going to figure out what uh, pitch had for points. Well, it was, again, Marinette probably outshot percentage-wise than Sheboygan. But Sheboygan made some threes. Clutch, I thought, basketball down the stretch there by pitch. You know, we kind of mentioned with about four minutes left, he was cool as a cucumber, and he made his last three baskets. Julian Jones attacking the glass, doing a lot of things. You know, stuff you probably didn't see a lot of was, uh, you know, Evan Platt's got some big offensive rebounds. Adds to DJ Dawson. Another thing, I thought this team was kind of unique. They got all these a AJs and TJs and DJs on their team, <laughs> <laughs> which is uh, maybe a thing for the for the Wombats. Looking forward to seeing them again. All right, some quick scoring here, just a partial list. Uh, Corey and Davis for uh, the Marinette Buccaneers lead, led all scorers with 34 points. Leading Sheboygan was TJ Pitch. He had 30, and Julian Jones chipped in with uh, 24. Alex Antoni had 10, 12, 30, 14, 15 points, and uh, those are your main scores. Excellent ball game. Sheboygan a winner, 92-89. Our next ball game will be November 17th. We're out at Lakeland University when they host uh, UW Lacrosse. We look forward to bringing you uh, that ball game. For the crew and my partner Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.